Hey, what's up guys? Matt Modi with Dodge Jam. Back at it with another WNBA bet that I have for you guys. Um, of course, found it on the Dodge Jam Positive EV page. Um, I also have another WNBA bet that I posted on this YouTube channel earlier today. So if you want that bet, make sure to check that out. One of the early morning videos posted. For this one, I have another bet that I really like. Um, and what we're looking at here, I'll just get right to it. The Atlanta Dream plus eight and a half, minus 115 odds on BetMGM. So for starters, it's positive expected value, has a profit margin of roughly 3.59%. Now for the WNBA, granted, past two days, this didn't work out, the bets didn't hit, but the logic is still the same and that you can find some pretty big examples in terms of where spreads and totals are priced at if you just compare across all of the books. So like for this example, the bet was on MGM at minus 115 odds, getting the Atlanta Dream at plus eight and a half. As we can see, there are other books, Bet Rivers and the Ajdam line. And as we know, this Ajdam line is the sharpest book in the world. Price this at minus 129 and minus 134. So right off the bat, we see a pretty big discrepancy specifically with the plus eight and a half. But more importantly, we see every other book have this spread priced at eight or seven and a half. So we're getting a pretty big advantage, getting the dream a full point or half a point higher with a bigger spread than what most books have. Just looking at it, looks like eight seems to be the magic number. Uh, points bet, Caesars, DraftKings. Bet Rivers actually has it at seven and a half. So this doesn't count, as does the Oxygen line has this at seven and a half or sometimes even closer to seven. So a point and a half off, which is just ridiculous when it comes to in the long run, if you're consistently beating the closing line, even by a half a point, it just, it changes everything in terms of profitability. So, um, and as we can see books that do have pricing for the dream at plus eight, minus 121, minus 115, minus 123. So even heavier juiced towards the dream at a full half point lower. So it's just pretty ridiculous the types of value you can get betting on sports like the WNBA that doesn't see as much as much action. So the sharper books that do get more action, like the Ice Jam line, um, you can really find some advantages, which is exactly what we found here with the dream at plus eight and a half. So this is a bet that I already hit, as you can see on the screen here, locked it in. Fortunately, I it was supposed to be a, um, if we just look at my calculator, it was supposed to be like a four unit play for me. I can only get one unit on it because of limits, unfortunately, as you can see on the screenshot here. But just from a basketball perspective, you know, the, the Mystics are kind of, um, they're hit or miss because it all depends on the health of Elena Deladon. So I have right here um, the, the uh, date range from the 15th on till now. You can also change it from the 1st. Either way, the Dream are consistently one of the worst teams in the NBA, which does make me a little scared. But the Mystics are kind of hit or miss. Again, it all depends on the health of Elena Della Don. She's missed two years pretty much with the back injury, and she's kind of been out or in and out of the lineup, kind of hit or miss. So she is supposed to play tonight, which is in favor of the Mystics. But I just think that eight and a half points is too steep. Uh, the Mystics are coming off a pretty grueling road trip. Now they're back home. Now they're back home. And um, and I just think that the eight and a half points, like I said, is too, is too rich for my blood. So I like this one. I think it's a good bet. I would recommend putting four units on it, even though I can only put two. And that's going to be it. That's going to be my WNBA bet. So let me know what you think. Again, make sure to follow me on Twitter where I post the majority of my WNBA plays, Modi underscore Matt. Uh, let me know your feedback there. Comment on the video with your feedback. And then, of course, the good stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But that's all I got for you. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one.